Hey guys, um, a long time no talk. Uh, if you can hear my voice, I am not feeling the best. I actually have a cold. Gray started with a cold, gave it to Porter, and then Porter gave it to Anthony and I, and so now we are all sick. Um, actually, the boys are recovered. Basically, they're fine. And now Anthony and I are just dealing with the cold. But we are back from our week-long cruise. It was such a fun time. I took a bunch of clips, so I'll input those here so you can see little bits and pieces of what we did. This only means one thing. It's time for vacation. We are getting ready to go on a week-long cruise. Woohoo! Boys, are you excited? We're excited. Where are we going? Texas. Yeah, Texas and then on the yep. cruise ship. At the hotel, waiting to get on the cruise ship. Lots of family. We're all ready. Kelly's pumped. We made it. We're gonna get on the boat. We're gonna get on the boat.
<laughs> you are correct. Honduras is part of Central America, but if it's an island, it doesn't connect to the mainland. Made it to Honduras. Get off and go explore. Water's kind of brown and gross. But out there it's blue and pretty. As you can see, we had the best time. It was such a unique adventure. We'd never done a cruise before. It, there was a lot to do. There was a lot to eat, a lot to drink. Um, but we were ready to be home by the time it was done, for sure. I debated about like doing full-on vlogs during the cruise or just taking little clips. And I just settled on taking little clips because a lot of times it was hard to get my phone out and just trying to live in the moment, so enjoy those little clips so i hope so i hope you enjoyed those little clips that i took but we are back and um today is the first day after being back from a week-long vacation so as you can imagine our house is kind of in shambles uh thankfully anthony and i tackled all the suitcases last night we got them all unpacked and things where they need to go and I've been doing laundry nonstop. <laughs> this is my laundry pile. I am slowly folding and making piles, but I have a lot to go and I have a lot more laundry to do. This suitcase I still need to unpack as well. It's got like all my dresses in it. So yeah, I've been doing a ton of laundry. I'm used to going on vacations where we go to like an Airbnb and they have like a washer and dryer there that we can use. But on the cruise ship, I mean, you could use a washer and dryer, but you had to pay for it. So we didn't. So I have a week's worth of laundry that's just dirty. 
So that's been keeping me busy and then also like going through like all the mail that we've missed, paying bills. Uh, we have no food here. So I had put in a grocery order. I'm going to go pick that up later today. So trying to get back into the swing of things. Also, this week and next week, it's just getting very, very busy. We're getting into back to school mode, which is just wild to me. Grayson starts school next week. Like, where did the summer go? It's just so crazy to me. So this week, it's a little busy. Grayson has Safety City starting tomorrow. He has it for three days. Let me know down below if you did Safety City. I did it as a kid, and I loved it. I still remember doing it. I even got a free bicycle helmet, and I thought it was so cool, and it was so much fun. So Grayson's going to do that. Um, I've got a doctor's appointment for Avery because she turned four months old and so we're going to get updated stats on her which by the way we did not take Avery on the cruise if you follow my vlogs you know why but basically she was too little for the cruise so my sister Allison took her for the whole nine days and I came back to a very chunky very happy baby so Avery's been doing great she's getting so much bigger so i can't wait to see how big she actually is because when i weighed her like two weeks ago she was like 12 pounds 12 and a half pounds so we'll see what she is when we go on friday and then like i said next week starts school for gray which is crazy since he's in kindergarten they just kind of do like a slow ease into kindergarten so he does like one day next week and then doesn't go the rest of the week and then starts the following week on monday and then it's like full go and then we have about a month i think a month from today porter starts preschool so just trying to get all this back to school stuff ready plus we have my sister's baby shower coming up that's in like two weekends and then we have soccer that's gonna start we have both boys in soccer so it's gonna be a busy couple of weeks we're just getting back from the cruise today we don't have much and then it's kind of like busy Busy, 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 busy. Mom? Yeah? Then I came back. Yeah? Did you clean your room? I didn't clean my room. Okay, can you go clean it? Go put all the pieces into your truck. Hey, Porter, did you have fun on the cruise ship? What did we do on the cruise ship? We find something. What? We mostly buy a cruise ship. You say no, 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 no. I have no idea what he just said, but did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. Do we eat a lot of ice cream? Yes. Yeah. It was pretty cool. You love ice cream. It's good. Ice cream is good. So anyway, I'm going to get back to folding, doing laundry. I'll pick up the camera as the day goes by. Avery's napping. Um, the boys are just playing. It's kind of like they have all new toys because they've been gone for so long. I haven't been able to play with them. And then I need to make lunch, which I don't really know what I'm going to give the boys because we're totally out of fruit because we didn't buy any the week before because we knew we were going to be gone. So it's going to be an uh, interesting lunch. And then um, at nap time, I'm going to head to the grocery store and get groceries. I want a song that Scrabby store how far you run. Okay. Are you going to help me fold laundry? Yes. Okay, great. Hey guys, so it's later in the day. I'm here in the kitchen. I'm actually attempting to make lactation cookies. I've never done this before. I've never really had them before, but my supply has tanked. Since we went on the cruise, I just didn't pump as often as I needed to. So I'm hoping this might help increase my milk supplies. Maybe not. I got this recipe off of somebody on Instagram, so I'm not even sure if it's good or works or anything, but I'm gonna try it. So I've been making the cookies. They have chocolate chips in them, but then they also have different things like flax meal and oats, like three cups of oats. And a couple other ingredients, I don't really remember. I was supposed to put brewer's yeast in it and I couldn't find it, so hopefully it's still good without it. So we'll see how they turn out. I've already made a couple batches. I kind of made them kind of bigger. So I don't know. I just felt like making big cookies today. But that's kind of it. Avery is down for another nap. I actually just went and checked on her because she's been sleeping since like 2.30 and it's 5.45. She's still sleeping. She's so tired, I guess, which is fine. Boys are having dinner and then we're going to do baths. 
My voice is still pretty much gone, so I'm sick, so that's super fun. Side note, if you go on a cruise, just be prepared to get sick afterwards because it's just a cesspool of germs. And we were outside for a little bit, but then it started pouring rain, which is kind of crazy because we haven't seen rain in so long. It didn't rain once on our whole cruise, and we were gone for like over a week. So it was kind of cool to see the rain today, but kind of just stuck inside. The kids are watching Brave. I actually put on like a Disney Channel Plus show, Tots, and then I came back. I had to run a store to get butter because I was out of butter, and then Brave was on, and Anthony said that the kids just put it on themselves, which I didn't know they knew how to do that, but anyway. That's what we're doing. Just I'm trying these cookies. Let me know down below if lactation cookies helped your supply. I'm really trying to bring my supply back. I'd really like to breastfeed Avery until at least six months old, and I don't have enough supply to last that long. But if I have to move to formula, then I will. I already bought a can, so I haven't touched it yet, but I am prepared to do that if I need to. But hopefully this helps me a little bit. We'll see.